Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna try out one of the teams I briefly ran on my stream once. It was a Shadow Type Lotion team and I played it briefly for one day so I'm not really even sure how well it went. But we're gonna do something a little different today. I'm gonna play my battles live essentially, kind of like a live reaction where I'll be talking through my process. This is not going to be pre-recorded footage, I'm just playing it for you right here and now for a full set and see how it goes and we'll see if i cooked or maybe i got cooked before we get into the battles i want to give a big shout out and thank you to all my patrons who've been supporting my content creation if you'd like private one-on-one -on -one coaching scrims against me some of my lead guides and strategies ahead of time or even tune into my live stream battles feel free to sign up through the patreon link down below let's get into this team uh i was running a shadow type flosion and i had this in the back and i say swapped a gudra i uh, called this rank one gudra actually and naic and then i had a shadow alolan nine tails in the lead um, and it's got charm so uh, it was a pretty heavy stardust investment but let's take a look and see how this team performs we're in like the three thousand elo range so uh, definitely facing some tough players oh my gosh that is definitely a core breaker. Yeah, I might be getting cooked in this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, they're trying to catch a move. They didn't do it. Okay, I'm gonna fake that I have like, um, what do you call it? I'm gonna fake that I have the Draco meter, but they don't fall for it. Okay. So I think my strategy here is to actually save my Gudra if I can. They stayed in for quite a while. Oh, I don't know if I can though. One, three, four. Okay, they just got to another body slam. They have a lot of energy on the Tentacruel though. That's the main problem here. It's going to be a huge pain for my whole team at this point. I think I just lost this one. We'll see what we can do. Uh, I can't really spend a shield here, unfortunately. So, let's see. Maybe I could save a Thunder Punch or swap out. Okay, this is good. All right, we catch a Body Slam and we get a full charm through. That's really nice. The question is, do I shield here or not? The Tentacruel's coming in. Yeah, our Switch Hammers were not that misaligned, unfortunately. Hmm. This is tough. I have to let this go. They have way too much energy, unfortunately. Okay. So now I need to wait on the timer a little bit. This is really unfortunate because they can also permanently debuff my Typhlosion. The good part is it's pretty high attack. So, oh, wait, was this charge attack priority? If it is, that's really good for me. So I wanted to get the extra Dragon Breath through before. Please tell me. Oh, that's massive. Okay, we have a winning chance here. So, obviously, I have to shield everything this thing has. A lot of Tentacruel in Ultra League have Blizzard, so uh, it's probably a safe shield that I'm shielding the... Uh, let's see. I get Charge Attack Priority here, actually, so we don't even need to shield. I could go for the Aggressive Farm Down, but I think this might be more valuable. i save the shield for later. Let's see if they shield or not. Okay, they don't. Uh, they have two shields, too, though. That's actually really bad. Oh, my gosh. Okay, ABA Water. Unfortunate. Um, yeah, there's no chance. Because the thing is, uh, the water shark will just take me out here, too. So, GG. All right, I didn't get the boost, too. All right, uh, that's a tough one. Um, yeah, I think if I could have won Switch, the problem with winning Switch is the Tentacruel is kind of a core breaker, right? So, anyway, that'll happen, right? If you run more ABA teams, but uh, yeah, you can see my ELO is 30 10 right now. Okay, we get a battle right away nice uh but yeah that was a tough one i think we did what we could on that situation but backline was just not too good all right fantastic lead uh we could just not too bad in this so i don't necessarily need to swap right away okay four five six seven eight nine ten eleven all right they have a lot of energy i'm actually okay with just swapping over to my 
uh, Gudra at this point. Well, hmm. They could be going for the Earthquake. I'm going to let it go. It's Ultra League. Earthquake's been nerfed. It's going to take it. Oh, nice. Okay. So there are eight, nine, ten. Um, honestly, I think I could tank this too. And it might just be another aerial ace. It is. All right. They have another one banked. Five, six. Yeah. All right. We get it off. Charge Jack Priority. That's massive. I doubt they're going to spend another shield here. And if they do, then I'm going to match shields. Okay. They don't. Perfect. All right. We're in a very commanding position. That is what I tell people a lot, especially people I'm coaching. If you have switch advantage and a shield advantage, like what I have right now, the odds of me losing in this situation are extremely slim. And obviously on the flip side, if you're in the other situation, it's way, it's also like really hard to win. They have a massive core breaker in the back for them to have a chance. Tentacruel would be one of them. And honestly, that would make a lot of sense with the team. Okay. Um, I'm a shield. Hopefully it's not a Tentacruel. I might be able to outpace Tentacruel. Okay, there goes Superpower. They probably swap out, so yeah, okay. Probably safe for me to swap here. Okay. They don't throw, actually. I think I win charge check priority. So I'm gonna just go for the next one. I definitely get another move through. Okay. Oh, uh, let's shield. I think um, they don't have the energy to bait me and go liquidation. They went straight liquidation, okay. And we get it off. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is Ultra League. Typhlosion is also way harder to Dragon Breath down. So I should be able to take out the Dragon Knight too with this. Oh yeah, definitely. Nice. All right, one to one. If you have that shield advantage and the switch advantage, it's so hard for your opponents to overcome. Um, at that point too, I guess we're more on even shields after the Dragonite threw a move, but their Dragonite was way lower health than my alone nine tails. All right, twenty nine eighty six. So potentially doing a little bit of gatekeeping here. Um, honestly, I'm just going to swap out here because I have two really great ch checks to this. Okay, they're going to lunge me and dip. I assume. Oh no. Three. Okay. Uh, this doesn't really help me too much. <laughs> um, okay, let's just throw two. One, two. Okay, there's always a chance I have Draco, so you always want to build up enough energy even if you don't have it to potentially grab a shield. Oh, gosh. One, three, four. <sighs> All right, so they probably don't have Stone Edge Taker Sword. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. They might. Okay. Can I flip switch here? Is the question. They have to dump energy. Hmm. It's not great. All right. We'll just charm down. See what happens. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna let this go. Uh, I'm gonna let this go. Oh, what? Okay, actually, I'm gonna take the next move first and then swap. I think they have another answer to this, so that's why I'm playing it this way. I should be able to tank a discharge here. And then I'm gonna come in Typhlosion. I have to shield the next move on Typhlosion, even if it's lunch. Oh my gosh, they went lunch again. What the heck? Please. Oh, we get the full incinerate down. That's massive. Okay. We have an energy lead. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Okay. We have to shield this, obviously. But yeah, Typhlosion the lead would have been amazing here, but that's what it is. Okay. We just going for a full optimization here because we have shields still. So I want to make the most out of this. One incinerate plus the move is six turns equals two hexes. So that's how you're optimizing there. Uh, this is a little bit dicier because they might get to their second surf in time. And I don't know if I can tank it. So, but let's just, oh, please tell me it's not stone edge. If it's stone edge, we just lose. I think that was going to be, oh, wait. Okay. That's actually not too bad. Oh, shoot. I'm, I'm max energy. I'm max energy. That's actually really bad. 
All right. Um, I would charge like priority, so I'm just going to swap here, I think. Whoa, actually. What the heck? Okay. Oh, nice. There we go. Wait, did they spend a single shield or they still have two shields? Because if they still have two shields, then I'm in trouble. Okay, let's see. Oh, no, they're good. All right, we're good. We're good. They're trying to get to two moves, but hoping the game doesn't screw me over here. Uh, if it does, then that's unfortunate. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right, we get off. And they didn't have to move anyway, so worked out. All right, two and one. I was a little worried after that first game, but I think we're kind of cooking here. All right, take out the... And that was not... That was kind of more of a neutral lead and stuff. Okay, I cut out some of that Q time because the Q times are getting a little bit on the longer end. 29.65, so down pair, but not too bad. Oh, another fantastic lead. Okay, I'll take it. Let's see how this goes. Uh, ooh, it's a little awkward. Oh, we actually catch. Okay. It's not easy catching three turn uh move on from a three turn user. That's actually really nice though. They might have ice beam. One, two, three, four, five. It's probably a crunch. I'm gonna shield just in case. Okay. That's fine. Crunch is fine too. Cause I wasn't like two, three, four. I wanna throw before they get the hydro. Cause this is actually a lot of health for the Dragonite to chunk me down on anyway. And this allows me to get to a Thunder Punch as well on the Dragonite. One, two, three, four, five, five and a half. So what I usually do for like one turn moves is I actually count them in like two turn increments. I just like divide uh, and like multiply it. Okay, so we have switch advantage, but we don't have shield advantage. So there's a chance they can come back here. I'm going to wait out the timer a little bit. I think it's up, but just want to be on the safer side here. Okay. Whoa, what the heck? Interesting. Yeah, this is uh, this is looking pretty good. <laughs> they were not ready for fairy types here. Are they going for icy wind? Okay, they do go for the icy wind. Oh, nice. Beautiful. I'm gonna just gonna go good Typhlosion here. They don't have enough in the tank. Oh, let's go. I mean, benefits of running Charmers, I guess, right? Um, yeah, this Dragon Claw's not enough. They had to go Superpower to have a chance, but there's just no way they have enough energy, I think, to throw both. Okay. Uh, what is this? Three and one now? Am I tripping? Let me see. Oh my gosh. This team is cooking. All right, look, we start off with a loss, but it's looking pretty good. And so maybe this is something worth making if you're interested. I, the Typhlosion is not super expensive. Shadow is definitely preferred. But if you don't have Shadow, I guess you run non-Shadow. Uh, Gujar is obviously, you know, pretty standard. And then the alone Ninetales is definitely an investment, especially the Shadow. But you probably want Shadow for it. Uh, and honestly, I haven't even thrown a single side shock. So if you even have frustration, maybe not the end of the world. Uh, it is an investment, but that extra Shadow Charm damage is very, very nice. Okay, uh, this is a hard one. So I think we just stay in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's probably Jorban. It's a little tricky. Okay, I'm gonna try to catch the next one. It's gonna be a hard one. Two, three, four, five, six. Catching here is not a good idea. They might shield. Oh, they don't. Okay. Yeah, I don't really like this idea from me. <laughs> I'm going to get hit by like two ice punches here. But I think I might need the one until... I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. This Gucci honestly seems too good into the back line. I can't go down both shields. I definitely misplayed this. I think the play is just to stay in here, but... Again, I haven't been playing this team much at all, so. Okay, do we show the Typhlosion? I think yes. Generally speaking, you don't want to show the third Pokemon this early, but it would give me a decent energy lead. One incinerate lead is pretty nice here. If they have a water type in the back. Oh, okay. I'm just going to throw this. I think they probably shield this. I don't know. 
they have a lone nine tails counter in the back for sure. Oh, they don't shield. Okay, well, I should have not have rushed that then. Okay, we get off another move. And I just swap the lone nine tails after this. I'm a little concerned what they have in the back. There's no way they don't shield this one now. Okay, they do. Okay, nice. Wait, what? Oh. This is going to be hard either way, I think. But, um... Yeah, the tentacle, man. It's a tough one. Okay, my win con here is... I don't have one. Because they have a bunch of energy on this... Oh, Annihilip, yeah, it's, it's over. All right, well, either way, Tentacruel, definitely a core breaker for the team. Uh, I think I probably could play that last game a little bit better, but honestly, I don't know. Like, it's just, it's still kind of a tough situation, but I'll take it, 3-2. So I would say we kind of cooked. We didn't get cooked in this one. But if you're liking this kind of format in this series, let me know. Maybe I'll try it for other teams too. Um, obviously, the teams I run a lot with and climb a lot with, maybe not as useful because... I've already tested them, but for these kind of teams where I haven't played too much of, uh, it could be pretty good and see how it goes, especially on the spicy end. But anyway, thank you all for tuning in. Let me know what you think of this team and best of luck if you decide to run yourself. Hopefully you don't run into too many tentacles. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like and share, subscribe to future content, hit that notification bell to get alerted when I'm posting a new video and I'll catch y'all later. Bye.